somewhere far away there lies a mesmerizing island a place unaltered pure it seems as if nothing has changed for so many years yet with so many new adventures to explore strong roots which lie in an unchanged ambience. Travel there. Can you feel the sand caressing your body? The powerful winds blowing away your mind? Can you surrender to the flow of the crystal clear waters? Learn from the wisdom of the trees. Listen to the music of cicadas. Dance over the wild cliffs. Become one with its fascinating vibe. Where night becomes day. And day becomes night. Let yourself go. Eos history can be traced back centuries. It is the island that according to Herodotus, Homer died in. But if we take a look at the later years, Eos is a barren island with very few inhabitants who try to make a living by cultivating the land and raising animals. Η Ήως στη σύγχρονη ιστορία χρησιμοποιήθηκε σαν εσύ εξορίας. Οι άνθρωποι ήταν φτωχοί, έπρεπε να είναι δημιουργικοί για να κάνουν τη ζωή τους ευκολότερη. Μάζευαν το αλάτι από την παραλία και το έσπαγαν σε ένα μεγάλο πέτρινο βουδί. Φτιάχναν τα παπούτσια τους από ρόδες αυτοκινήτων γιατί έπρεπε να περπατάνε σε βραχώδεις περιοχές. Έπρεπε λοιπόν να είναι πολύ δημιουργικοί ε, για να κάνουν τη ζωή τους εύκολη. Ήταν δύσκολα χρόνια, πολύ φτωχοί και έπρεπε να επιβιώσουν κάπως. In the 70s, Eos managed to develop its tourism and became one of the most popular destinations for the hippies, otherwise known as the flower children. Dyed clothes, long hair and frantic parties followed this movement and marked the history of the island. Was it the generation of delinquency and alienation? or the generation of liberation and equality. Today, five decades later, Eos continues to offer authentic hospitality and entertainment. The most descriptive term for many, the island of partying. But what truly defined the identity of Eos was and is its people. I was amazed at how welcoming the people were. And they weren't rich, but I found they always, they were always offering us stuff. And just to give you a little example of how hospitable the people were. And we walked over to Theodotti one day and we wanted to spend the night there. But there were a few other people staying in the rooms in Barba and Donny's place. Barba and Donny and his wife, Thespina, said to us, wait, and they went and they cleared out their room and we were so embarrassed. We said, no, 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 we can sleep outside. And they wouldn't let us. They gave us their bedroom to sleep in overnight. And the next day they offered us breakfast. They said, well, would you like to drink? And I said, Greek coffee. And then Barba and Andres went into the field and milked a goat for the milk for the coffee. What more can I say? It was just something that we had never, ever experienced anywhere else in our travels.
There's just a lot of family businesses and you can really feel that they they love what they're doing. Μόλις σας έβλεπε η, η μητέρα μου, η γιαγιά μου, ο πατέρας μου, οτιδήποτε, η αδερφή μου, έπρεπε να σας βάλουν μέσα στο σπίτι υποχρεωτικά. Να πιείτε νεράκι, να σας προσφέρουν ένα γλυκό ή οτιδήποτε άλλο. And a good example is when my mother came to visit me here for the first time, everybody was treating us even better, said, oh, your mother is here, and they just wanted to show the, the family values. The EOS people were so generous and hospitable and kind to us that we just kept coming back. I mean, it was this different tribe of people invading their island with different cultures, different ideas, and they just welcomed us and made us feel really, really at home here. Eos is coming home. from Bern, Switzerland. My name's Jane. I first came to EOS in 1971. My name's Lambie, and I first came to the island in 1973. Uh, I've been here since 1979. First time I came to EOS, it was 1976. I was living in a mountain of Switzerland with cows milking. We and I have some friends coming one weekend and say, you have a deux chevaux. We go to Greece, come with us. So I came here. For the idea, he paid us. He moved on to the to the middle part. Still, I'm okay. It has been back. He came on. We lived in a cave at the end of the beach. It was a fantastic time. Waking up in the morning, diving in the sea. There were probably about um, 18 of us in different caves and we gave them names like Ravenscroft and Homeforth. I'm spending the afternoon in a little cafe in the corner of the beach. When I started my father, I was in a small theater in the corner of Milogoda. It started as a simple theater, self-service. What I remember from my father is that he had a program that έβλεπε το μιλοπότα άδειο και έλεγε ότι κάτι πρέπει να γίνει, ότι πρέπει να κάνω κάτι για το μιλοπότα. Στην ουσία ήταν ένα παράδειγμα με τις μεντόλιθους. Κάτι τουαλέτες, μαντουζιέρες, της πλάκας, μπορούμε να πούμε. Έβλεπε την ευκαιρία εκεί που υπήρχαν μόνο καλαμιές. Εκεί, λοιπόν, για πρώτη φορά συνάντησα έναν άνθρωπο ο οποίος ήταν ιδιοκτήτης, μιας ταβέρνας, έτσι, ελληνικής ταβέρνας. Έτσι, λοιπόν, εγώ και ο φίλος μου ζητήσαμε και ρωτήσαμε, υπάρχει καμιά δουλειά. Και έτσι, αυτός ο άνθρωπος, λοιπόν, μας πρότεινε να κάνουμε κάτι, κάναμε κάποια δουλειά και γνωριστήκαμε. Και έτσι συνεχίσαμε και έτσι την άλλη μέρα ξαναπήγα και ξαναπήγα και έτσι συνέχισε η ιστορία και άρχισα να δουλεύω για αυτόν τον άνθρωπο. Αυτός ο άνθρωπος, που ακόμα, είναι μέσα μου. Είναι μέσα μου. Γιατί Έχω πάθος ακόμα να μιλάω γι' αυτό. Έχω πάθος. Μες στην κούρασή του, μες στην τρέλα της δουλειά του, στον υδρότα του, στον κόπο του, οι αστυνομίες, από εδώ το σύστημα, όλοι να εξυπηρετήσουν τον κόσμο. Έρχονταν ένα παιδάκι, τα σταματά για όλα, τα παράτα για όλα. Έτρεχε γρήγορα, πήγαινε να βρει φρούτα, καρπούζια, οτιδήποτε. Να φιλέψει το παιδάκι το μικρό, που το παιδάκι το μικρό δεν μιλούσε. Είχε δημιουργήσει ένα μαγαζί που ήταν ε, πολύ μπροστά για την εποχή του. Το μαγαζί αυτό πήρε μεγάλες, πολύ μεγάλες διαστάσεις και βασικά πήρε μεγάλες διαστάσεις από τη μουσική που παίζαμε. The music drew people together at the time and it mixed foreigners with Greeks as well. We were a very mixed society at the time. 
Δεν λέγαμε θα κάνουμε πάρτι. Τι πάει να πει αυτό. Αφού ήταν ένα πάρτι. It was full every day and everybody will be starting the party in the afternoon until late in the night coming up in the village. Υπήρχαν μουσικά κινήματα, έτσι. Δηλαδή, άμα το πιάσουμε και μουσικά, κάθε μια δεκαετία γινόντουσε επαναστάσεις, μουσικές επαναστάσεις. Τους αγοράζαμε δίσκους και ήταν τρέλα. The main meeting place was the main square. And everyone used to gather there in the evenings, meet up. Και όταν συναντιόμασταν εδώ και μιλάγαμε με τα ίδια παιδιά για τα ίδια πράγματα από άλλε φυλέ και από άλλου λαού, γινόμασταν ένα. Γιατί όταν είσαι νέο, έχει τα ίδια όνειρα. Δεν έχει σημασία τι εθνικότητα είσαι, από πού έρχεσαι, πώ έχει μεγαλώσει. Εδώ γίνεσαι ένα. Αυτή ήταν η μαγεία του παρά. Που εξακολουθεί να είναι η ίδια. Έτσι, αυτό η ενότητα, αυτό το ένα. From a hippie refuge of Crete in the 70s to the stereotype party island, it is now defined as a luxury destination that retains its authenticity and tradition. Προσφέρουμε και εμεί ένα νέο είδο ψυχαγωγία που πλέον ενδιαφέρονται και νέοι άνθρωποι, όχι μόνο μεγαλύτερη ηλικία. Θέλουν να γευτούν το νησί και τα προϊόντα του, τα παραδοσιακά του προϊόντα, ω μέρο τη εμπειρία του. Ο επισκέπτης όταν έρχεται στο κτήμα μας ζει μια εμπειρία με όλες τις αισθήσει του. Ακούει τον αέρα, τα ζώα μας, νιώθει την ζεστασιά του καλοκαιριού των κυκλάδων, γεύεται τις κυκλάδες, αγγίζει τα βότανα, την πέτρα, οπότε έχουμε μια ολοκληρωμένη εμπειρία. It's like time stops at an unchanged place that enlivens the light in your soul, that makes you not just breathe, but live. Live in a moment where there's only you and your friends. In clear blue waters, in moments when time does not pass. You build memories on one of the most beautiful, unexplored islands on the planet, in paths that you have never walked on, or others that you have never run through, danced on, fallen in love at, in memories that come back again and again every time you become one with the rhythm of the island, in memories that make you turn to the music that touches thousands of people every summer, the people of the Eos life. It's amazing, everybody's singing, chanting, and just talking to each other, connecting. It's just gone from this small little club to just an iconic place for DJs to go and play. Hey guys, I'm here on gorgeous Eos, Greece. About to head down. Far out beach club. It's like absolute mayhem. Same vibe, crazy, people let loose. It's gonna be special. It's time. We are ready to party! Once you are far out, everybody's already in the mood, and then it just peaks there for as many hours as people can can uh, can handle, and it's an experience that they never forget because you don't find that anywhere else. The story of Farao is that we give it to the people. This is the story, and this will continue. It's more than just a gig; it's life. It's it's what we live for. You wouldn't want to be anywhere else in the world. That usually, you know, ends after sunset, a little bit after sunset, where people go back to the village, get fresh, go to the hotel, have a nice dinner, and most of the times will go out until the early morning hours. This town is so much fun. There's so many bars. You just bar hop. It's not like clubbing and. It's not hard to get in, obviously. You just walk in, you get a drink at the bar, and they're playing sick music. And the night goes and goes and goes, and I've never had as good as a night 
as going out into the town after Far Out Beach Club. What is great is you don't really have to plan your night to say, oh, tonight we're gonna go here or there. It's so easy, you just go from one place to the other, everything is close by, um, and every bar kind of has their own soul. <laughs> Βλέπεις ότι οι άνθρωποι από όλο τον κόσμο έρχονται εδώ πέρα και ενώνονται όλοι σαν μια παρέα ε, με ένα κοινό στοιχείο όλο αυτό τη γνωριμία, τη διασκέδαση. There's all Aussies here, Italian, Swedish, you name it. Everyone from around the world is coming back here now. Just really meet people from all different countries. Οι άνθρωποι της ΙΟΥ έχουμε ανάγκη τα τα καλοκαίρια. Το καλοκαίρι τον εσύ μας παίρνει ζωή. Summer is not just carefree, fun, amusing. It is a breath of fresh air. It is oxygen. It is laughter, hugs, cultures, and smells. Περιμένουμε το καλοκαίρι να έρθει. Every year, I, this is what I look forward to. Every time, every single time, this is all I'm looking forward to coming to. Eos, everybody just says Eos has this magical kind of vibe about it. It's hard to explain. What I like here is that the feeling of life. This season owns a magical ability to transform us into the best version of ourselves. I don't know how to say it even, but such a loose, positive atmosphere of, of freedom. The atmosphere of this place is very special. I see people, young people, enjoying themselves. I see people who find a sense of freedom here to be what they want to be. They absorb the atmosphere of the island. And I think that's what we did too. And that's why people come back. Once they feel that spirituality, that something special that EOS has, it makes you want to come back time and time again. You, I would say to anybody who hasn't been to the island, come here and explore. Follow other people, but look for yourself as well. At that place where we are made one, where name, origin and language do not weigh more than love. At that place that all you see is light. At that place where images freeze in time. The only thing that warms you up are the memories, the ones you built the ones we built together. Filling frames, walls, rooms, hearts, lives. Searching to find what no one else has dared to find. What the children once found in the flowers and what we found in the memory of their scent. 